Hello, so today we are on day 25, and our learning target is I can compare the author's point of view. So today you're going to be reading and analyzing the point of view of the, the author from the text Real Lives Angola, Africa. So let's go ahead and go over and read our text. Real Lives Angola, Africa. Growing up in the Angolan village of... Maboy. One hour north of the capital, Luanda, Fatima had to spend up to four hours each day collecting water from the river. It was a dangerous trek. One year, seven of Fatima's friends were attacked by crocodiles. But the girls carried a much bigger danger back with them to the village. The water was polluted and spread disease. As a result, when Fatima herself was not sick, she had to spend many hours each week carrying for sick brothers and sisters, and when she grew older, for her own sick children. In 2000, the Angolian government and UNICEF developed, teamed up to lay a pipeline from the river to the community of Maboy. Latrines, wash basins, taps, and showers were then built together with a filtering system to ensure every drop of water was drinkable. As a result, diarrhea rates dropped almost to zero. Child deaths plummeted and many girls, who no longer had to spend hours every day carrying water, entered school for the first time. A community water and sanitation committee now maintains the system and teaches hygiene to the rest of the community. A neighbor of Fatima's, 13-year-old Selena, is one of those who started going to school because of the pipeline. Previously, Selena's life had been dominated by collecting water. She had to walk to the river and back three times a day. Now she can do her chores in a fraction of the time, and her younger brothers and sisters are healthy, so she does not need to care for them. Unfortunately, Maboy remains the exception rather than the rule in Angola. Almost three decades, decades of war have left millions of people without clean water or basic sanitation. A huge task remains, drilling boreholes across the country, constructing major pipelines, establishing a national sanitation education campaign, and providing water to schools. Fatima may be one of the lucky ones, but, she facil but the facilities she, her children, and Selena now have are not a luxury, but a necessity and a right. A mother must take care of her children, Fatima said, but we cannot do that when we only have dirty water. So if we look here at this map, um, this is a map of Africa, and the highlighted country right here is of Angola. And so here are some pictures of the people there. So I want you to think, why do you think the author wrote this text? What was the purpose behind this text? And we're going to be answering some text-dependent questions right here. So let's break down text-dependent questions a little bit. So text-dependent questions are questions that can only be answered from reading a specific text. Our very first question says, reread the second paragraph. What does the phrase as a result mean? What words in the text make you think so? It says in our second paragraph, but the girls carried a much bigger danger with them back to the back with them to the village the water was polluted and spread disease as a result when fatima herself was not sick she had to spend many hours each week caring for sick brothers and sisters and when she grew older for her own sick children so through reading that we can see as a result means the same thing as these words make me think so so because the water was polluted and spread disease, Fatima had to spend many hours caring for her sick brothers and sisters. So that is our first question that we have. Question two, what happened as a result of the pollution of the water Fatima and her friends gathered that gathered each day? 
So again, it's a text-dependent question. So we can go back into our passage and read paragraph two to find what happened as a result. Number three, reread the third paragraph. What did the Angolan government and UNICEF do to help the community at Mubai? So we can go back to the third paragraph once we click on the Realize Angola Africa and find what they did to help the community. And after all of that, for question four, why do you think the author wrote this text? What is the purpose of real life Angola Africa? What is the author trying to answer, explain, or describe? And again, we can go back and reread our passage to help us answer this question. So go ahead and look back in your passage if you need to and answer these text-dependent questions.